Hey kids, it's Tommy. And for today's Tommy Log Tech, I am excited to put my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge to the waterproof test. So the Clifford family went to a water park. We love going to water parks. A perfect weekend getaway. And I can tell you there is nothing better than the water park experience taking your smartphone with you. Everybody loves pictures, but who doesn't love pictures in, around, and under the water action? This thing is just awesome. Before I get too excited, I'm already excited. You know, thanks Verizon for this. And you know what, my opinions are my own. I appreciate this, this phone is just awesome. Okay, so let's talk for a second about this whole IP thing. What does that really mean? IP stands for International Protection Rating. And the two numbers after it have different meanings. The first number is its protection rating against solids. So zero solid, like a hand, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So zero to six, IP rating of six means no harmful dust. So this is sealed against dust. So what does the next digit mean? Zero to eight. Eight means that this can be submerged at depths of deeper than one meter for a specific period of time. Samsung says this will go to five feet for up to 30 minutes. Okay. So if we're talking about the iPhone, it says IP67, that can only go to three feet, one meter, for 30 minutes. This can go deeper. Samsung says five feet. I've heard people go deeper. I didn't go any deeper than five feet. So IP, International Protection Rating, six, no dust, eight, how deep it can go and for what length of time. In the water park, though, the water slides, the, there's a big uh, like bucket above me and it's dousing water all over me and I got my phone here and I'm doing all kinds of stuff. It is absolutely crazy. I'm in the water, kids are doing flips under the water. It was awesome. It was totally awesome. So I'm taking my phone everywhere, everywhere. Dad, come in the water, take in the water. We're taking pictures underwater. We're taking video underwater. We are having a blast. It's going on the lazy river. I can't even tell you how much more fun it was because I'm able to remember it as it happens inside the action. Oh my gosh, under the water. Just amazing, absolutely spectacular. Uh, you know, I learned a couple things. First of all, screen works on electrical pulses that comes off your finger. If you didn't realize it, you have actually electricity coming off your finger. Screen doesn't work underwater, meaning you can't activate or press the start, stop. You can't take pictures underwater. So when you start a video, you have to uh, start it, and you have to start the video above water and stop the video above water because you can't press the screen with your finger. You can use your controls here. So if you have your volume switch to taking pictures, you can take pictures all day long. But this thing's amazing. I mean, it was it was easily four or five feet underwater for not hours, but certainly minutes on end. And here it is, working great. No issues, no runs, no drips, no errors. Fantastic. I have not gone any deeper than the lazy river or the shallow end of the, the pool, because Samsung says five feet. Probably can go deeper than five feet, but we're gonna say five feet. I want you to know that the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, 100% waterproof, Tommy approved. Oh my gosh, how fantastic is this? This thing is just spectacular. So if you go to the water park and you got one of these bad boys, the only thing I suggest is that there could be some sort of lanyard or something that you could put it in like a little case and then you know if you let go of it, it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. Don't ask me how I know that. Okay, guilty. This thing just rocks. Water park, wherever it happens to be, spectacular. IP68. Harmful dust, five feet for 30 minutes. Awesome, awesome, awesome.
Look below, you know where you can find me. Comment, questions, I got the answers. Love all the feedback you guys give me. Thanks very kindly, I'll talk to you later. Have a great one, bye.